Tomorrow's Prince Cujillo Parade will make history. For the first time ever, the parade will be held in Kapolei. The community has deep ties to the prince and former U.S. congressman. Here's Kamaka Pili. Tomorrow, Saturday, will be the first time the Prince Kuhil Parade will be hosted right here in Kapolei. Usually it's in Waikiki, but it's been moved to this side as it's the largest concentration of Hawaiian homestead. And the Hawaiian homestead or the Department of Hawaiian Homelands is one of many different legacies that is left behind because of Prince Kuhil. So to find out more about who this gentleman is, if you don't know who he is, we're here with the CEO of uh, Council of Native Hawaiian Advancement, Kuhil. <laughs> Kuhil Lewis, thank you very much brother for your time but you know when we speak about Prince Kuhio for those who don't know what is a very general way of explaining him well he was a trailblazer of the time you know he was responsible for so many things that today we we don't even recognize but he created for example the Hawaiian Civic Club movement thousands of Hawaiians are civically engaged because of that movement we have the Homestead Act which he passed as a non-voting delegate you know Today, over 10,000 families have homes because of that. He's also responsible for the judicial system that we know today. He started that, the Republican Party. He knew we needed a balanced system, so he also got involved in the Democratic Party. You know, he donated his, his lands to for the public benefit in Waikiki, which is why we have Waikiki Beach today. That used to be his land. So, I mean, he's, he's created so many opportunities for us to enjoy today, and that's why we honor and recognize Kuhio every March through parade, through ho'olaulea. You know, your name is Kuhio, as we mentioned. What, what kuleana do you hold with that name? You know, someone once told me, sometimes you don't get to choose kuleana, it chooses you. And I think in many ways that's what's happened in this case. I didn't use kuhio when I was growing up, but I started using it later in life. And now it seems like everything I do is revolving around this man. You know, kuhio is actually to be upright and lean forward. And that's kind of the leadership style that he had. And it's some, someone that I aspire to do. It's things that I aspire to do too as, as a leader in our community. Real fast with the amount of time we have, I think it's really fascinating and some people may have different opinions, but for Kuhio to be one who fought to re restore the monarchy after it being illegally overthrown, then becoming a Republican and a congressman and a proud American, what do you think his thought process was with that? I think he, ne he knew he needed to take care of his people and they needed to have some means to take care of themselves and so he was foresightful in that, in that way and I think that really sums up what that man represents for us. He thought about us. Well, thank you very much, brother, for helping to put all of this together. Again, tomorrow is the Prince Kuhio Parade. It kicks off at 5 o'clock in the evening, lasting to about 6.30, from Kapolei Hale, leading straight here to Kamakanali'i, culminating in a ho'olaulea that will then follow throughout the evening. For all the information, be sure to head to our website, khon2.com. If you can't make it, you can catch us live streaming and on air this parade hosted by myself and the beautiful Paula Akana. Once more, to find out all the information, be sure to head to our website, khon Kamakopi2.com. Kamako Pili with KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Well, Kamaka already said it, but I'll repeat it. The Prince Kuhio Parade starts tomorrow at 5 p.m. You can catch it right here on KHON2 and KHON2.com.